guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine so the first step i usually do is that i will brush my brow hair so that they are all going in the same direction as you can see i am now filling in my natural brows going in the same direction as my natural brow shape i know you guys can tell that the tail of my brows they're very sparse and so using an eyebrow pencil to fill it in will help it look more full and natural what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a spoolie and I'm gonna brush out the beginning of my eyebrows so that it will look more natural we don't want it to look so full and so boxy at the front and so what I do is that I brush it out to make you know the transition look much smoother I'm now gonna take my Born This Way concealer and I am going to conceal my eyebrows shape it out so that it looks more precise and much neater as you can see I am taking the concealer down onto my eyelids if you notice my eyelids and beneath my eyes they are much darker than the rest of my face and so the concealer is used to cancel out any darkness and so that my entire face has the same tone this also allows for the eyeshadow to pop when it is placed on top of the eyelids. So I'm going to take this orange eyeshadow color and I am going to place it in my crease. What I like to do, I like to take an orange shadow or a brown shadow with a warm undertone just because of my skin tone and my undertone which is more of a golden undertone. I feel like those colors work best on my skin color and so what I do, I place the orange color first and then i will go in with a brown shade and usually this brown is with a warm undertone and i would put it in my crease just to contour my crease a bit I am applying my better than sex mascara to my eyelashes I am now gonna take these drugstore lashes these are the kiss lashes I'm not sure what style they are in right now but more than likely they're natural or wispy I, I, I well no these are not wispy these are more of the natural ones, but I'm not sure which style number they are in. Now we are going to prime. So I am taking my Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. If you have oily skin, this is a good primer that you can buy. It is, I like it, it works pretty fine. And then a trick that I use is I prime my face and then I will set the primer with a translucent powder. This will help to control 
excessive oils just because you know I have oily skin now it's time for the face makeup so we are going to apply foundation and I'm using my Fenty foundation this is the matte this is the matte foundation in the shade 440 A good trick is to use a beauty blender when you're finished using your brush to further blend out the foundation just so that it looks seamless and uh, that's what I really love to do I am now gonna take a concealer that is close to my skin color and put that on the of my eyes just because if you guys notice I have my on the eyes are kind of deep set and so in order just to lift it a bit and to take away some of that dark cast, I am going to apply a concealer that is close to my skin tone just to kind of correct that darkness. Then I will apply a concealer shade that is two to three shades lighter than my skin tone to actually highlight. Another trick is when you're finished using the beauty blender to blend out your highlights, go in with your foundation brush to further blend so everything is blended well. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to use more than one tool to get the best results. I'm now going to take my translucent powder from Black Radiance to set my under eye and everywhere that I place concealer on my face. What I usually do is I dip the beauty sponge into the powder, dab the excess powder on my hands and then I will set my eyes or my forehead or my nose bridge or my chin with the powder that's left on the sponge. This is just to eliminate any excess powder so that the powder is blended really nicely into my skin. I'm now going to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish powder in that deep I think it is to set my entire face. The contour kit that I usually use is the Black Radiance Contour Kit in medium to dark and I am going to contour my face, snatch those cheeks, try to appear as though I am slim because you guys know that I am not 
and um, now I am going to take my bronzer this is the bronzer the cover girl bronzer this is not um, I think they've discontinued this bronzer so you won't find it but it's bomb for melanated skin tones and yeah I like to bronze my face because I like to look bronzed you know what I mean I like to look bronzed honey I'm now gonna take the same contour shade from the contour kit to contour my nose make my nose look smaller than it is and then I'm gonna set my entire face with my Mario Badescu facial spray I think this is the rose water and then I am gonna take my sponge to further blend everything in in order to get your makeup to look really nice you just have to blend blend guys blend now believe it or not I like using the highlighter in the contour kit because it's really natural and it looks really nice on my skin and so sometimes I just go for that highlight um, as you can see I like highlighting my forehead which I should probably stop doing because my forehead is really large and we don't want any added attention to my forehead um, next I am going to highlight the bridge of my nose now I see a lot of people when they highlight their nose they want to highlight the whole nose guys you cannot highlight your whole nose it's not cute it does not look good all you need to do is highlight the first half of the nose bridge literally because then it's gonna give off the illusion that the whole nose bridge is highlighted so you don't need to go in and highlight the whole nose bridge now I'm gonna take my Colourpop lip gloss usually for an everyday look I would just line my lips with a brown liner and apply lip gloss sometimes I would apply a nude lipstick but today I'm feeling for gloss so that's what I did then I'm gonna take the beauty sponge again make sure everything is blended now I'm just gonna fix my hair I love my hair it's going so nicely but thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe see you in the next one